Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into a topic that holds great significance for Christians. We are talking about reclaiming the rainbow. It is ironic how the very symbol of God's faithfulness and love is being used to promote acquired behavior that outrightly demonstrates man's unfaithfulness to God. As believers, we want to discuss why the rainbow should be maintained as a Christian symbol and explore the consequences of abusing this powerful representation of God's grace, mercy, and love. Let's get started. In a previous episode, we answered the question, whose rainbow is it? Today's video will further explore the topic and provide biblical support for the claim that the rainbow is God's symbol and should thus retain its sacredness. The rainbow holds deep biblical significance as a symbol of God's covenant with humanity. In the book of Genesis, after the great flood, God placed a rainbow in the sky as a sign of his promise. Genesis chapter 9 verse 13 says, I have set my rainbow in the clouds, and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Note the phrase, I have set my rainbow. This verse shows that the rainbow is a divine symbol of God's faithfulness and love for his creation. As Christians, we have the responsibility to honor and maintain the integrity of this symbol. Abusing or misusing the rainbow can have serious consequences. Romans chapter 1 verse 24 to 27 warns about the consequences of sexual immorality and the distortion of God's design. It states, Therefore God gave them up in the lusts of their hearts, to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves. For their women exchange natural relations for those that are contrary to nature, and the men likewise gave up natural relations with women and were consumed with passion for one another. These verses remind us of the importance of upholding God's original plan for sexuality and for relationships. The misuse of the rainbow as a symbol for promoting lifestyles and ideologies that contradict biblical teachings is misleading and detrimental. It leads people away from the truth and distorts the message of God's grace and salvation. It's important for Christians to reclaim the rainbow and use it as a reminder of God's unfailing love and the redemption available through Jesus Christ. Additionally, the New Testament reminds us of the transformative power of God's grace. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, it says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away, behold, the new has come. This verse emphasizes that in Christ, we have the opportunity for a fresh start and a transformed life. The rainbow as a symbol of God's covenant should remind us of this incredible truth. By reclaiming the rainbow, we can use it as a powerful tool to share the message of God's love and salvation. It's a reminder that no matter how far we may have strayed or how broken we may feel, God's grace is available to all who turn to Him. The rainbow serves as a beacon of hope, pointing us to the ultimate fulfillment of God's promises in Jesus Christ. In conclusion, as Christians, we should maintain the significance of the rainbow as a symbol of God's covenant and love. Misusing or distorting this symbol can have serious consequences and mislead people from the truth of God's word. Let's reclaim the rainbow and use it as a powerful reminder of God's grace, mercy, and love toward humanity. 
This is no mean task in a world where there, is, there has been a hijack and distortion of the original meaning. It calls for wisdom and discernment, even as we reclaim God's rainbow. Thanks for watching today's video. And if you found this discussion meaningful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. Until next time, may the rainbow always remind us of God's faithfulness and the hope we have in Jesus Christ. God bless you.